What's going on YouTube? It's Biggs. I had literally a whole Dofi video recorded and I decided to scrap it. I don't want to do it. Like it's pretty obvious that that deck is the nuts in the 8.5. Um, I don't want to talk about it because you know, I'm sure there's already content on it. It's, it's going to blow up, especially when the starter that comes out later on. Uh, but I wanted to switch gears back to my favorite deck that was ever made um, for all the whiners and crybabies <laughs> when it uh, was being played in sets 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, like, I, I want to play this deck so bad again. And honestly, I actually think it has legs. 100% I think it has legs. I am shocked. I actually thought the this EU regional was mega cope. I thought there was no way in hell this guy makes it to the end. Um... I was like, all right, whatever. But now with the bands, bro, and we're not in set nine, because set nine has some some stuff. But I think we have like a little bit of room, just a little bit. I might be coping here, but I really like Law, man. I really like Law. I've been having a lot of fun on the sim with him. I kind of want to do like a rank series with him now. Uh, I haven't really messed around with rank like that. I played like maybe six games, one four out of six um, with L L Lucci or something like that. Um, but nah, I, I want to talk Law. Law is fun. Um, this is the guy who won. I don't remember his name. Forgive me. Oh, it's George. It's right in front of me. <laughs> uh, George, uh, he was talking about his list. He had a fantastic run. This was uh, how long ago? A month ago. But now that the bands have come, I actually think this deck has even more room to breathe. Um, Lucci is still a problematic card, like regardless of stage. Like You're playing a lot of one drops, so you're getting a lot of value off Lucci, even with no reduction. Um, you need very minimal, like a Ice Age or a um, Tempest Kick, to get max value out of Lucci, because our highest cost is what five? Well, technically nine because we're playing Zoro, but you know, th that's not the matchup that we're typically trying to slam nine cost Zoro anyway. But you know, I'll take that just because Black Yellow Luffy is a deck that can still give this deck problems, but like it also pushes Lucci's viability way, way, way down. Um, so now people are trying to counter the Black Yellow Luffy meta or like join them so i kind of feel like we're in a position where like we're not really losing too much um we're a very consistent deck most of the time <laughs> um like yes things can go wrong but uh let's hop into the list i'm talking a lot that's my dog and my playmat there i am um move over law we have a new law and it's uh cope <laughs> we're coping um this was a, a list i saw off based off a of jp player um i swapped out a Luffy for the nine cost because I still think it's important to have. Uh, like I said, Black Yellow Luffy is not going anywhere in our meta. Um, his deck list was for OPO9. I don't know what that even looks like, to be honest with you. I, I know Shanks is pretty popular. I think there was a, an event that had like 20. Like, I get it though. It's like people want to play red. Some people were even saying BDIF. I don't know. I don't know. I got to see it. But um, at least for us, I feel like this is a good place to start. Uh, I like this tech from George. I do think that Bonnie's a really cool card. It's just a nice way to mess up your opponent's swing turn. Um, things like Black Yellow Luffy again, like that whole 10 drop uh, turn for them can be completely dismantled by this card. Um, any of the big decks like Yellow that are trying to just curve stomp you with 8, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Uh, just even one turn of disruption while you have a full board of swings is pretty good. And then again, 9 cause 0 in both of those matchups is really relevant. Um, Cavendish is a sweet card. I, I think the utility is great. Do I want all four copies at the risk of like making cuts everywhere else? I don't know. Um, I'm trialing this card, I think, from the JP players list. I don't know if he even kept this card. I just wanted to try it. It's a nice way to interact with your board when you have too much going on. Like You will hit five characters pretty consistently against anything that's not Luchi. Um, so being able to like bounce Nami for Bonnie for cheap without having to use your leader ability to do it. Um, it just seemed like a cool idea. It may not make the final cut of the list. Uh, this could probably be like another five drop somewhere. Um, another thing I did was just include Sanji. There are still Namis running around. Nami isn't generally a problem for this deck. Uh, I've played it a couple times in testing and haven't lost to it. It's still a pretty bad matchup for them just because we're swarming the board so fast and our ability to just like recoup value off of our searchers over and over and over again really invalidates the whole starving strat. So. But the Sanji's more for like Anels that want to try it. I haven't really seen a player try to do it against me, but I just like having the option there. Um, you can make an argument for this being two and then cut like another 2K like Brook. Uh, it's still a Straw Hat search, so it's it's still filling the same uh, thing. Uh, it's just that Brook lets you do more Dawn efficient plays. So uh, you can play with that. 
you can cut it completely. It's up to you. Um, again, maybe we need the second copy of Luffy. I'm not sure. It's hard to say. Um, this is a really good card into Bonnie. Bonnie's also seeing a lot more play. Um, you can do what we used to do back in OPL1. You can set up like a really thick board and just don't play. You play your Luffy and don't swing into their 8-drop kit turns. Um, it just makes it a lot awkward because it's like, I don't care how many uh, blockers you play with your kid. I'm just going to make my unblockable swing and you're going to have to give me your hand for it. And uh, if you do, that's fine because I'll most likely have like a couple choppers or maybe a, a law to help me protect my board. Um, even things like Radical Beam. So maybe this should be two. I, like I said, I, it's just very early days for me because I, I thought this was just going to be a joke list, but like I've been having a lot of fun. Like I haven't had a lot of fun with the game in a long time, guys. Like I like Dofi. Dofi's a fun deck, uh, but we're not going to be able to play that deck for a, a little while anyway. So I wanted to talk about a deck like I'm ready to play, bring to locals, and even try for the October regionals with, maybe? Um, so yeah, this is where I'm at so far. Um, the only card that I would 100% uh, probably cut uh, is probably the Shambles card itself. Other than that, I think we're pretty stock standard. I don't really want to mess with my numbers too much. Uh, you can make arguments for more Cavendish or Luffy, but it's it's really hard to make cuts. I like having the one of beige. It's another blocker. Uh, blockers are surprisingly useful right now. And then it's another one drop uh, for our critical mass to just help us uh, hit um, our bonnies and then just helping us fill our board quickly. Um, some quick takeaways from testing before we hop into some games was... I've had hard times with Dofi only <laughs> if they're hitting multiple gravity blades. And this was when I was playing in 8.5. So they already have like all their upgrades. I don't really think we're going to see Dofi like that. Um, as far as Boa, I don't really think that deck is good. I think that deck is more cope than our deck. I think you, it's still a worse deck than Dofi. Like if you're going to play mono blue aggro-ish or warlords, whatever you want to call it. I think Dofi's still a better deck personally. Um, what else? Like I said, Luchi gets max value on you, so we're still kind of probably see it around. It's not going to be as popular as it was pre-ban, um, just because, like I said, Black Yellow Luffy went untouched and is a very prevalent deck. There's a lot of decks that can take it on, but nothing that beats it outright besides something like Nami. Like, Nami's a pain in the ass for that deck, but other than that, it, I don't think it has a bad matchup or an unwinnable matchup. Even things like Bonnie that are pretty good into it, I still feel like Black Yellow Luffy has play into it, so... Um, that just gives us room to find like these weird matchups, at least from testing. Like I said, this is so unranked sim, so I'm not always going to be playing the best players, but like I still find board states where it's like, what are you really going to do? Like, what, how are you going to really stop me? You know what I mean? So uh, I think the deck is fun. Um, you guys can watch the games today and see if I'm just out of my mind. I'm just talking crap. Um, one player has already proven that it can be done, so I'm just going to leave it at that. So let's hop into some games. We got a game, it's a Bonnie. Um, this is always a tricky one just because her leader ability is really annoying. Um, the good thing is you can kind of punish her on turns where she's leading down up. Um, I would like a one drop. We have a nice turn two. Uh, we can rebind. We can play Cavendish potentially. I don't want to rush into this because I'm still going to poke at her with my swings. I like having Otama. Uh, so you know what? I'm going to try it this way. This might be a hard mulligan, but I'm going to try it. And we'll pass. Which is never where you want to be. But also, her leader ability makes us not want to do anything anyway. Uh, and he, if he passes, right? So, like, if I play to one drop, it's not the greatest. I'm just going to lose it. So, you kind of have to play a weird passive-ish game early against Bonnie. Um, so, he gets a 2k Viola. That's pretty good for us. We'll just attack. Clear. If we're lucky. We get a nice bond, or bond, Nami off of that. And we do. We lose some good cards here, unfortunately. Uh, we'll leave Law on top. Uh, it is important to note, guys, like, what you're bottoming. So, that is one of the old Law principles that's still really relevant, especially in this really grindy meta. Uh, we'll just take Chopper. Uh, we can leave Nami on top. It searches everything anyway. Like, I'm always counting my cards, so I know eight cards are on the bottom for both searches. There's 30 cards before we rotate completely. Um, sounds silly, but it does come up. So yeah, we're going to attack for eight. We're going to leave a Dawn. The good thing is I have a Law and a Pony. That's really nice for turn R7 Dawn turn. Uh, so we're just going to attack, and whatever he taps, we Law. He's probably going to play to a cost good, maybe, potentially. Um, so he might take life early. Now he's going to counter early and gives me a 2k, which is interesting. So that either tells me he has like Cavendish next turn that he doesn't want to burn, um, or like an Urouge, I don't know. Uh, he has like probably blockers in hand that he doesn't want to throw away. So like I said, we're just going to law, we're going to bounce this Nami. We're going to play our Zoro, and we're just going to attack. I played this matchup a couple times. Um, some bodies have tried to play like super aggro on me and playing like Hoey Jones early. I think playing to your a cost good is better. All right, so he definitely has big cards in hand. Either 
like I said, blockers he doesn't want to throw away, or they're all uncounterable cards. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm expecting a Hawkins next turn, for sure. Uh, which is also good for me, because that means his shields are completely down. Alright, let's do a Rouge, like I said. Oh, so you can just attack 7. Um, I'm going to block 2k if he attacks my Zoro. Let's see what he does. Let's protect the board. Alright, more 2k fodder. Uh, we just attack low numbers, really. Um, actually, I can attack for 6. I'll let him tap down my uh, Zoro and my leader. Is, this is what's going to get tapped anyway, right? Oh, my dog hears fireworks and she gets really nervous. <laughs> so, what's the play, my friend? Oh, he taps down my leader, which is fine. It's uh, pretty smart for him, because honestly, you want to tap down the leader. Like, if I chose not to swing with Zoro or something, and like, now if I want to get another attack and I have to swing Zoro. Do Bonnie? Maybe we do Nami. And we wait for Bonnie, right? Like I don't, I don't think I need to find my other law yet. I would have found it too, and I would. Whoa, that sucks. <laughs> so what am I? I'm down two law, I think, and I have one here. So my next one's gonna be pretty sucky. Um, just attack five. One, two, three searches, 12 cards. We have 24 on top. Do I feel lucky, boys? No, probably not. Um, I guess I bottomed a couple of one drops. I'm going to have to do this aggressively if I don't find it. I can also just do Catfish, get the Dawn, right? I think this is better. And then we'll go uh, 6 at life. This is okay. I have ways to rebuild the word. Like if he wants to commit full on. These turns are always awkward to, to navigate because you have so many lines. He gave me a hoodie. Yeah, so he's definitely sitting on probably a cost Which is also why I like having on Tommy here. It's an annoying card for us for sure. Oh he has a hoodie. Okay. Sure, sure. You go 6-8. Eight. 8 most likely at my law. I can't have a dish. Honestly, I'm sorry. I'm not interested in protecting that card. It's utility. It's not necessary. Like, it helps with a good. I'm not going to lie. It makes my attacks better. So he's going to go 6. Um, if he goes that on, I'd be happy. Or Nami, I'll be happy. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to counter here. And I'll give you a Sanji. Tama is good. I think we can confidently go for Hody here. And then similarly, we'll go just eight into Hody. Because it's going to block, get tapped down anyway. Maybe. So it's just more down efficient to attack with the 6k than it is the 5. Bounce Otama, not replay, and then I can play like Chopper Block or something. But I'm going to go pretty hard into this Odi. These grindy games into Mono Green hasn't really changed from like since day one. Uh, so we'll go like that. So you give it to me or give me the blocker. Um, he can also have 10 drop Doki, which he is playing. And then we'll. Like I said, we'll just bounce her back, cancel, and play Chopper. That's old law tech. For anybody who joined the game like after law became dog shit, <laughs> um, yeah, you can use your ability to just tap or bounce guys back and not to really do anything with it. So I'm gonna protect. Do I protect law? Is it necessary? Because it's just gonna be opened up into the ten drop, right? But then it forces him to attack with ten drop. That's fine. Honestly, I think I let the, this one go, if anything. And I will take... Alright. So we have 23 cards on top, 24, we have Cavendish. Uh, let's search where we hit, which is nice. I can 
uh, Otama over Nami. Put him there. That leaves me seven. I can put five here and attack rate again. There we go. Right. Attack there. That's pretty good. And then we bounce. Uh, protect our girl. We can use her as counter after, and then we go into Nami probably. So no. Uh, Nami on the bottom because leaving her towards the top means that anything up below her is unsearchable if we draw her, so that's no point. Um, to bottom these. Right, and then pass. Okay. So we played Nami and Bonnie that turn for an additional 8 to the 24 cards. So we have 8 cards on top. Hody again. Honestly, that's fine for us. He's done 2 damage to himself. He's at 3 cards. Makes attacking easier. So I'm assuming he's going to go for like board, right? more Hody Jones. That's the only way, right? He's... he's No way you have four. <laughs> no way you have four, right? Because um, he's pitched one, played one, played one. Does he have all four copies of Hody freaking Jones? Uh, we'll take... But even so, we have one blocker at least. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine as well. Uh -huh. Okay. Oof. Um. Do I want to clear another Hody? On the off chance he has the next one? Or do I just try and like go for game here? No, right? I think we just go Tama here. This is going to get tapped down anyway, so we go 8. It gives me two cards to protect. Taps down Chopper. Because he wants us to go for legal. Okay. No? Alright. Give me your hand. Okay. Then I can go... I'm really afraid, afraid of second Hody. Which would be like really freaking annoying. <laughs> um, I think we go Zoro. Hope he doesn't have last two can have. What do we have here? He's used one, two zeros, three, two, three, four. Uh, I'm gonna go for it. Okay. Let me balance. Tama play law, restand law. If he plays Hody, I'm 100% taking the 10 ramp. He has 3 untapped on, and he can attack 7 9. I can get out of a 7, and I can get out of a 9. I think we're going for it, boys. I think, yeah, we're good. We're fine. And we just make sure that we're winning on this turn. As a law player, um, Never forget that, like, yes, these are blockers, they're really good blockers, they have amazing effects, but they still attack. They're 6Ks, so they're still attacking. You should be attacking with them. Um, just do the math, make sure you're not dead on crackbacks, but, like, you're, you should be fine. If he has 4th Hody Jones here, I'm 100% winning the game, and I should be able to survive taking a 10 and then getting rid of the other ones. This is fine. Uh, he leaves himself open when done. Uh, he should attack 10 into, like, Law. I'll block. I block every day of the week. If they're going to my face, obviously. I'm going to take it, I'm not living this. <laughs> block. Alright, so we attack 7. He has 2 cards in hand, the game's over. Uh, he taps down our other 6k. Then we just win. Yep. There's realistically no card you have that stops us from winning the game. Yeah. So GG to bone. Is that potentially? Uh, I would go second. I still... Like going second into these controller or slow decks just because it one lets us see more cards and it lets us have more down to work with on our turns. This is not a good enough hand. This is okie dokie. Uh, we'll go Nami. This is not a great Nami search. Um, we'll leave Bonnie on top. Uh, we'll play Chopper for max dot efficiency. Um, I was going to mention it in the. 
I like having Otama because it helps us uh, just clear board easier. Like when he starts taking all this life for free. Um, uh, but I was going to mention in the dope video, um, <clears throat> Hiroshi Show, which is very popular um, player in Singapore, I believe. I'm, I'm hoping I got the region right. Um, he does a bunch of One Piece content. I follow him. He has a nice video on how to play Red Purple Law into Null to make it not as bad of a matchup. Because um, I don't think that matchup was as bad as people thought it was. Hmm. I could technically go like Bonnie, Bonnie, Robin. <laughs> uh, yeah, one Bonnie search and then ability. Uh, let's just attack five. There's a free attack. Uh, let's just see what he does to me. Uh, but he has a whole video on like how to approach the Anel matchup as the aggro, like these go wide aggro decks. Um, he goes more in depth, but I'm gonna try and show some of those principles in this, hopefully, if I don't get washed. Uh, so we'll, we'll go. I did the math right, right? I have three Dawn to do this. Yeah. We'll get Kevin. Uh, we'll play the Robin because it doesn't really do anything in this matchup. We'll play Bonnie and then we'll uh, just bounce Law, bounce Nani. We'll take the Zoro because it's one of the matchups we wanted the most. Um, but basically, into an L, once we start getting to the very late stages of like 9, 10 Dawn, it doesn't do anything. Alright, so he does want to try and play off of my life. So he's going to have 9 Yamato in hand to pop stuff. Um, because that's what's coming up next for him. I can deny him the free health gain. Yes, he'll be able to pop anything on board. Um, but it's also one less free card. Uh, that's more important once we get to 10 Dawn. Uh, you don't want to just give him free Ace Rushes uh, into your board, because we should be attacking like multiple times. Unfortunately, our hand hasn't really lined up that way. Uh, that's two gone. But I kind of need Zoros to get something going here. Um, so I'm just going to take it. Uh, might be bad on me. I haven't played this in a while. <laughs> um, but that might be a misplay on my part. But we're just going to go for it. Um, do I want to just give him the free play? Honestly... I think it's fine. Um, we can just put him at one. It's not the ace turn, right? Um, we'll actually bounce uh, here for the 1k. I have the other Bonnie. Um, we'll play the Cavendish, get the Dawn back. Um, we can do... Seven. Okay, then we can do eight. That plays around zero cost of that. Like if he wants to counter it's two cards. If he only has zero, that's three. Cool. I'm okay with trading board here. He's gonna Yamato most likely. Yeah. Um, we do this because I don't want to lose Cavendish for free, so he's going to attack, we block, and then he plays Yamato. We'll go... I'm at 4 life. Um, he has Raiga, but at least I make him take at least 1 life for the Raiga, and then that's only 4 Dawn he gets to work with for the turn. Um, so we'll just attack for the 6 here. Just pitch 2 zeros, a 2. And then we play the zero and pass. And then we get Rygood. Ace is a play. Ace is a play. I think we... Two. And then we take the rest. What's this? Okay, A-Trap. A-Trap kind of only hits A-Cost, right? I'm pretty sure. So I'm not really worried about this. Alright, got the fourth... <laughs> the fourth law. So technically, on board alone, I have one, three, so four, five attacks, plus a rush throw. Uh, so we're going to attack seven, right? He showed me two zero costs. If he has more, it is what it is. So we're going to attack seven the first time. This is free Nami for him, but at least I get my value, right? Or he has the freaking thir third one. Why not? <laughs> um, I need four attacks to go through, and I have zero. I can 
wall up too, right? I can also take care of board, honestly. I can take care of board. I think this is the better play. Uh, we'll attack. Right, I have one, two, three. If I'm gonna attach the Dawn, I might as well play the body, right? Six. I need to play two more one cost, which I can. Nami. Play Zoro because it's an uncounterable card anyway, and then enter and don't do anything. <laughs> okay, I think I did. Okay. Now if he has Raga, it costs him two life. Uh, ten cost ace does nothing here. It gains him a fourth life, which is annoying, but not the end of the world, right? Uh, seven, we block. No. <laughs> and we drew another one. Sick. Um, I haven't been keeping track of. Our, our bottoms or how many times we searched, unfortunately. I'm uh, like kind of zoned in right now. Uh, just attack for 10. Use card action. Right. Um, <sighs> he's gonna do it anyway. Uh, we bought him two law at the very beginning. I think it was the second search. We have a uh, chopper back up to protect ourselves, to insulate ourselves. Um, let's just see what he does here. Because we still have two, three, four, five attacks this turn. Technically, that's all I need to win the game. <laughs> Crazy enough, but now he has the pop the Nami. Yep. Um, I really don't have to go for it here. I can just set up, do this. And like I said, I don't have to turn on these. Like this is all this matchup is just knowledge checking yourself. Uh, Luffy's pretty. Um, hmm. I think that's more important, right? And just pass. I don't do anything. We have a rad beam with 2k. Uh, so all together, 8k in hand, a blocker, and a life to lean on. Again, I'm not giving him 10 cost ace. I'm just gonna let him play around it himself. Uh, if he goes, I know. Seven. Now I, now I feel pretty good. Go seven. It has to be beige, right? Like beige turning off my nine cost and all of his attacks would be really bad here, but I think we're okay. That's annoying, but not the end of the world. I need to give. I just I've taken taken three of the zero cost events, so I'm not really expecting to find more. Hopefully, <laughs> he's only used one. Yeah, only one two K counter. Um, so let's attack. Uh, use the ability. It helps us use catfish later. I just wanted to play like meta contenders for the video. I'm gonna go second. This is a really good card to have. We have no Tama to help us. I, mean, I just need Bonnie. <laughs> Let me draw Bonnie or Nat and draw our green loof our green our green uh laws. Take the Uh Bonnie on the bottom because there's nothing to search. Uh Chopi, pass. So this is still this out of all the matchups, I probably think this is the hardest one. Um, some people say, oh, you just gotta rush Luffy down, stop him from getting there. It's not that easy. Because um, once they get to that, like, turn they stabilize, it doesn't matter what you do. Uh, attack 5, obviously he's gonna take. Play the Zoro, attack the Zoro, take. Play the Chopper Pass. 
I think we block. I want to just keep the board. No, it's probably a mistake. I was forgetting about the stupid card. <laughs> why, did, why did they get to keep a cost gecko and have this card? This card's so stupid. Um... Fully activated. Yeah, the card can do something, it's just not the most relevant right now. Why well, I'd be lying to you boys if I didn't say this is looking pretty grim. I think we just, uh, one nine. I think we just unload our leader. Right? As much as we can do right now without this boy. Um, I'm gonna develop board, right? It's gonna go like this. That's 12. Protect the team. Alright, I'm It's not quite halfway through, but he's pretty deep. Also, almost at the point of nine drop spam or eight drop spam. Oh, that makes my my Zoro look a lot less scary. If he goes like this into a ten drop, if he has a second ten drop, ooh. I wasn't really worried about this uh, <laughs> this combination of cards with this until I saw it. Now, now I'm scared. Yep. Okay. Take. That's not. It's kind of one of those reasons why this card is just kind of me. Um. And pass and pray that he doesn't have 10 drop here. Because <laughs> uh, honestly, he's still fine. He has blocker, one life. Like, granted, he won't be buffed up, so any like rush combos I have would be potentially scary, but he still has like eight cards in hand. He does a flip Roni, draws the card, uh, lets him turn on leader. I don't know how I feel about this card. I also don't play this deck a lot. I'm not a fan of this deck. I think I'm just hating on it because it's so it's too good. <laughs> I have no interest in playing it though. Man, if I had Supernova Tree. Four attacks for a billion. Bam. Alright, there it is. No children. I just realized that he no kids to play. He just wants to play defense here with a bunch of blockers. That's interesting. Muy really interesting. Um I think we Take one, obviously, that's huge. Random value, we'll take it. <laughs> I can actually do the same combination, like I told you before, where I can bounce something, not play, and then just replay it again. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Goodbye. Cancel. Goodbye. <laughs> um, that was nasty. That was, that was indeed nasty. Uh, I don't really have good play, though, even with all that. So I think we'll just go and we'll bounce right, we'll bounce there. Just have another body on board. Um see if he gives me a card for it. This is just a, a check, right? I just wanna see what he does. Okay. And now we just attack nine. Luffy, right? If he turned it down, Luffy, Luffy can pop any number of things on my board. Sure. Um And I can still blocker blocker shambles one. So just attack again for nine, see what you get here. Okay. Set is active. Look at he, he's playing ace, right? Did I see ace? Yeah, he is. A lot of JP builds I've seen recently uh, have got ace entirely. Um, I don't know if that's trickled down to us yet. Again, different meta in JV though, so I can take that with a grain of salt. <clears throat> um, that was three two Ks, my friend. Let's just do this and see what happens. Okay, he had, obviously, of course he had all of them. I'm at four. <laughs> Chopper, we'll hold the red beam and counter and pass. 
Uh, he played like all of his, draw his own life cards, so I turned off his leader ability for the turn. Uh, okay, don't worry, it doesn't do anything. He guessed wrong. <laughs> so it was Luffy on bottom. Yep. Then I guess they'll waste a bunch of resources. He has three cards in hand. He can leader skill. He has no. No more Sabo, so he has to go full aggro here. Okay, if he goes two down leader, right? He has four down to work with, we block. He has the ace. Does he have the Luffy too? I can get out of ace, ace, no problem. Um. There you have it, boys. I, <laughs> I didn't think this was going to work. I played three top decks. You can always say a skill level was definitely there. Um, sure, 100%. But I still think the deck has legs, right? I still think the deck has legs. Is it going to work every time, like against Black, Yellow, Luffy? Oh, definitely not. <laughs> um, but you have options, right? Like the nine cost zero was huge. Um, even though our board state looked ass. Uh, you might have to play like two, who knows, I don't. Uh, I've only been playing this deck for like literally two days. But I definitely think the deck is better than it seems. Um, just dodge Luchi, which shouldn't be the hardest thing to do. I haven't seen like any buzz for like post ban Luchi outside of like a couple content creators. I still think it's an okay deck. I don't, I don't think it's as viable though. Um, so yeah, I think law has some breathing room in just our meta um so probably 8.5 um probably not in nine uh the new shanks deck looks pretty nuts um but that's it guys this was my bread and butter for such a long time <laughs> so it, it just feels good to play this deck again so let me know if i'm just coping down in the comments uh what you guys are excited to play in post ban meta um I'm having a lot of fun just exploring right now, so this is this is dope. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you've been staying tuned this entire time, next video I might do another One Piece video. Um, let me know if you want to see more One Piece. Um, I'm trying to do more Star Wars content. Uh, I'm not getting as much traction with it because a lot of the groups with Star Wars are kind of cringy. They're like, oh, if you're gonna post a link to your own content, try and you know leave a paragraph explaining your bro just watch the video <laughs> that is my only beef with the star wars community i think it's a little cringy like get over yourselves it's not that serious it's just content like if you want to watch it you watch it if you don't you don't um so but for my one piece guys who are like maybe dabbling in star wars let me know if you want to see that next or more one piece let me know obviously i have a lot of deck ideas like swimming around in the brain so let me know peace